Hello and welcome to the State of Play, where we have a very deep dive into what is going on in the US presidential elections. I'm Evan Lucas for Go Markets, and as always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all, it's just general in nature only. It's growing, and I need to make that very clear. All of the polls are slowly but surely edging in Donald Trump's favor. If you have a look at Georgia and Arizona, they are now actually widening in their advantage to him, but it's the blue states that are catching our attention. If you look at Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, they're either at razor thin margins even, or for instance, in Pennsylvania, he's now slipped ahead by an absolute, you know, margin of error that you can basically drive a car through, but it's there. He is now starting to show signs that he is ahead. The national polls still very clearly have Harris as the popular vote. In fact, it's actually got slightly larger. But what it really means is that she's turning blue states bluer, and that makes no difference whatsoever to how the actual overall election will be. The next thing to also notice is just how much of a drip, drip, drip it's been. Since the 6th of October, basically it's been a slow burn and no matter what Harris does, she cannot reverse the trend that is coming through in the polls and coming through in the focus groups that they're trending back towards Trump. Then you look at what's going on inside the betting markets. They are getting wider and wider. In fact, he's now so odds on that at the same point in 2020 with Biden, he had a bigger majority than what Biden does at the same point in the election. Now, the caveat is this, that does not mean this is over, and it does not mean that this is an absolute certainty. That needs to be made very, very clear, because most of what I've just told you, again, sits inside the margin of error, and there is still a good 12 days of campaigning to go, and anything can happen. What we're also starting to see is the demographics are getting diluted by things that are not the same as they were in 2016 and 2020. That being that Trump now actually supports early voting. And early voting has thrown a cat amongst the pigeons, particularly with the pollsters, understanding what it means. Because what we're seeing now is that more Republicans are voting earlier than ever before. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're voting for Donald Trump. It's the same argument to be put towards Harris. Democratic voters aren't voting at the same levels that they used to at this point in the cycle. And that needs to also be part of the discussion. There is so way, a long way to go, which brings us to the day and the state of play that we need to be reminded of. On the day, it's looking very likely that there will not be a caller. It's going to be too tight and there will be challenges. There will be issues and there will be recounts. That needs to be part and parcel with how you think and what you do with your trading. Because clearly, it's going to be volatile and now and with how razor thin all the margins are in the seven key purple states is that it means that it's probably unlikely that we are going to know who the next president of the United States is on the 5th of November. And that is why what is also the final take home is this. This could go on for months. There is absolutely a 2000 uh, you know, view around what happened with Al Gore and then President in George W. Bush that could lead to months of transitions, wranglings, fallouts, legal stouches that could make this even more interesting from a trading perspective and a really, really disheartening thing from whoever ends up in the Oval Office. The only other part to be assured of is that the fighting won't end. And by fighting, I mean whoever wins, the other side is not going to accept it. And that also needs to be reminded in terms of how the next several months, not just for your trading, but your longer term investing plays out as well. The state of play in the US presidential election is anything but assured, and it is only going to get more and more volatile the closer we get to the first Tuesday of November.